DC Simsy, and we are back with more office lovers in Mahito's route. I'm not sure how I feel about Mahito. Hmm. Anyway. She's all in love with him, but I still think he an asshole. I know Kaido is the biggest asshole, but I went in for that, and I knew he was going to be one, and I'm not disappointed. But, like, Mahito, I don't know about you, motherfucker. I just need you, Spacey. I'm basically going to force you. I'll wait for you until you say it's okay, but I'm basically going to force you. And I know we said it was okay, but, like, I don't know. This one's just way more cringy than, like, any of the others. <laughs> way more cringy. Uh, it's good for the cringe. It really is. But anyway, so we're back with more of this. And I don't know. We're only at, like, not even 60% likability, and we're in Chapter 6, I think. Um, So I don't really know if we're gonna get the best ending or the good ending so we'll see what happens anyway morning finally came and we got ready to go to work phew i'm still so sleepy oh well that's because you were working so late last night which kind of work are you talking about oh god fucking a he flashed a sinister smile at me w what i wasn't thinking about that remembering the events of yesterday my face blushed bright red and again She's still like, oh, bless you, know about the, oh, stop, 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 girl, stop, 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 stop. Don't say those kind of things at the office, okay? A little anger poured into my voice. I know, silly, it's our little secret. That makes it sound even dirtier. And not like in the good kind of dirty, that just makes it sound like inappropriate. Like, it's our little secret. Did we murder a hobo? Like, I mean, I know we can't talk about it at work because we're not supposed to date on the project and stuff, but it's still just... It's our little secret that we fucked around on our boyfriend-girlfriends. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Mikito brushed it off like it was nothing. Only Hiyoga's got a girlfriend. He's, like, a corporate spy or something. I don't know. Oh my god! We're gonna have to have conjugal visits in prison! That's why you're wearing orange! They're preparing us for the orange jumpsuit? That would be great. That would be a nice twist to this. I wouldn't see coming. Now I've seen it. So it won't happen now. Anyway... You're just obsessed with me. Who's obsessed? Wow. He teased me and poked my forehead with his finger. Not a problem. I'll just try not to look at you anymore. I turned my face the other direction. You're gonna make me cry. Yeah, who's obsessed now, bitch? You can handle it. <laughs> you can handle it. What if it's just two of us? Can you look at me then? I think it would be acceptable. Great. I'll try to make it just the two of us all the time, then. Idiot! That would look even more suspicious. It'll be fine now. We're partners, remember? You have a point there. That makes both official. That makes us both official and secret partners. He chuckled and squeezed my hand. He's fucking insane. Jeez, what are you going to say if someone sees us? I looked around, but fortunately didn't see anyone that I knew. Sorry! I quickly let go of my hand. Yeah, like, I feel like she's like, oh, don't talk about that. Oh, I'm going to blush. Blah, blah, blah. But then she has these moments like this where maybe it's just me because it's me reading into it. Like, don't touch my hand. Yeah, that's right. He quickly let go of my hand. Yeah, that's right. Fucking touch me. <laughs> she's like, I don't know you. Now she's being a complete and utter toolbox to him. Like, I just, I enjoy this. I enjoy this side of her. Like, don't touch me. Fucking look at me. God, Mahito. Idiot. Because <laughs> that's me reading my dislike of him into this. I'm just, I'm not a huge Mahito fan. I'm not. I'm just, I'm not. Just... In case you didn't know, I'm not. You need to be more careful. These words were not only aimed at him, but at myself as well. I just, I just like, you need to be more careful. But I just like, you need to be more careful. Fuck. Fucking kill you. A little too much Okita in me now. <laughs> I felt just as excited as him at times. If I wasn't careful, I'd find myself staring at him all throughout the workday. We were just getting... We were... Oh, we were getting quite close to the office. You're right. It would be pretty bad if we got found out and kicked off the project. We shouldn't come in at the same time. That sounds safer. You wait out here for an hour. I'll stay here and waste some time before I head in. He pulled his hand away from mine. I thought we already slapped his hand away. Okay, see you later. Even though I knew it was for a good reason, I couldn't help but feel sad to leave him. 
I'm rolling my eyes and I almost vomited. But at the same time, it is the honeymoon phase of a relationship and everyone is like that. Like, I don't want to not see you anymore. And then like two months later, you're like, are you still here? I live here now. Yeah. Do you have to? <laughs> okay, maybe not quite two months. It takes a little bit longer than that, but... You're sad, aren't you? He leaned towards me and studied my face. N n no, I'm not. How did you know? All right. No, I'm not. No. The points for him be like, how'd you know? Oh, because we're like totally in love with him. So we're not going to deny it. How did you know? Because you're welling up in tears and sobbing and you've got the little trembling lip. Oops. I accidentally told him the truth by axing, asking that. Axing that? Girl, no, I can speak. Asking that. I knew it. It was written all over your face. Aw, I need to be more careful. Oh. Look how cute you are. Getting all sad because we have to part for a while. You must love me so much. I know, it's like I've been drugged or something. I'm as obsessed and creepy as you. We're perfect for each other. They are. I'm not taking any credit for this. I couldn't deny it. You aren't the only one. I don't want to leave you for a minute either. Ugh. Don't say that so easily. What? Why not? Because you'll get all embarrassed. All I did was nod. Too embarrassed to even say it out loud. My light, my literal is... It's embarrassing! And it makes me so happy! It's basically her two go-to lines. She's like, if she had a string on her back, it'd be like, It's embarrassing! It makes me happy! That's the only two things she's fucking capable of saying. You're too cute! He muttered in a particularly happy tone. I'll catch you later. Waving my hand goodbye, I hurried towards the office. Oh, thank God, a minute without Mahito. Kentaro was already there when I arrived. Ken was already there. Stop calling him Kentaro! Like, see? Good morning, Ken! We've called him Ken twice in this round. It's always Kentaro, but in every other round, he's Ken. Can we just fucking pick a name? Good morning! Huh? He tilted his head and looked at me. If you fucking notice my outfit again, I'll beat you. Did you stay at your friend's house again? Yeah. And I don't bring the clothes. This time I was ready to answer. You know what? You should always have a spare pair of underwear in your bag because you're wearing the same underwear again. That's gross. I finally understood how to lie. As long as you prepared for it, it wasn't that hard to tell a lie. Just as planned, Mahito arrived just a little bit later. Morning, all. Good morning, Mahito. Morning. It felt a little awkward to exchange greetings with someone I had left moments earlier. It would have been nice if we could have had some time for a meeting alone together. But the entire day was a rush and we didn't have the chance. Speezy, I have the sample with me. I care to take a look? Sure. It's right here. She handed me the perfume sample and I carefully inspected it. Is it made how you envisioned it? It's close. It might need to be made a little more vibrant, though. How well does it combine? Let me find the data. Thanks. Our conversation went back and forth, talking about small adjustments that needed to be made. Shall we add a little bit of citrus scent to it, then? Yeah, the middle and base are good how they are, I think. We eventually came up with a good plan on how to make the final tweaks. Click. There you are. The CEO entered the office. Mr. Otri, I just got an interesting security tape on my desk. Dear God, girl. Do you, could you at least lice all this shit down when you're done? Are you busy right now? Yes, but there's only a little bit left to do here. Then, could you come by my office when you're done? Sure. I wonder what he needed me for. I wrapped up what I was working on and nervously made my way to the CEO's office. Knock, knock. It's me. I've been waiting for you. Come in. Sorry I took so long. I opened the door and stepped into the office and found him standing right in front of me. Mm, that's a str Did I scare you? Y yes You came all this way, so I thought I'd surprise you. You are fucking weird. I'm not saying I don't like it. I find it interesting, but a little creepy. But only because, like, person playing game is like, the invested in a game is like, you're a little weird, and I kind of like that. But 
so much of this just just like triggering where you're like ah, it makes me angry so like in a real world scenario i can't help pull myself into the real world scenarios every once in a while and i'm like how fucking weird would that be if you're like oh, walking to someone's like, what are you doing right by the door you fucking weirdo like what the actual fuck I want to find it intriguing and cute, but I find it also a little weird and creepy. But it's probably just because we've played like four routes of this game so far. And they're all fucking creepy weirdo stalker people. And I just have my hopes for him to be that way. Not really hopes, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm just pretty much like, yeah, everything you do is going to be creepy and weird now. Even though normally I'd be like, what is with this weirdo? Like, you're charmingly weird and strange and think we're okay with it i don't know if i'm okay with it anymore this whole game has made me not okay <laughs> oh no i love this train wreck i do it's terrible but it's got enjoyable moments i really can't wait for his route now but anyway he seemed enjoying that he seemed in to be enjoying this for some reason i had no idea what was going on in his head no one does so is the perfume coming along well he came closer to me, asking questions. Really, he's pretty much all up in your fucking face anyway. You walked in the door and you're like, could you back up a little? It is. We've also finalized the bottle design. The sample bottle is coming together, too. If we continue at this pace without any problems... Without any problems, huh? He looked straight at me and put his hand on my shoulder. I'm not likely. I see too many problems in your future. Like the fact you smell like cologne. He brought his face closer and whispered in my ear. Oh dear. There's only one person I know who uses that kind of cologne. That's why you should get up and take a shower in the morning! His eyes squinted and he peered curiously into my eyes. Did he know about my relationship with Mahiro? That smell came from the samples I've been working on. I quickly thought of a feasible lie. Strange. I didn't think you were working with cologne. Well... Did you dis discover some sort of new mixture? Or perhaps not? He ran his finger along my neck, making my entire body shiver. I love the sinister jam, 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 music in the background. It's not really sinister, but it's the this is the sinister... <gasps> oh no! Oh my god! We gotta be sneaky! It's like the Mission Impossible almost music, like... It's cheesy, but you know that's what the vibe they're trying to get. It's like, oh no, we're on high alert. We're like sneaking into the government facility, being all Mission Impossible. That's kind of what they're going for. Like, it's so weird. But anyway, um, but like his like now he's getting really like running a finger around my neck. You're like, could you say that for your route? Because I don't want to think you're a creep, but you're being a little bit of a creep. I think you know all sorts of things about Mahito. With both hands firmly holding my shoulders. He leaned in and interrogated me. What do you know? Ah, tell me the truth. You can handle the truth. Did he somehow figure out that I think Mahito might be a spy? He pushed himself closer and closer towards me. Was he trying to kiss me? I couldn't let this happen. I needed Mahito. No, no. Shh, 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 shh. Just let it happen. <laughs> I'd rather you kiss him than Mahito. Okay, I'm just saying. Slam. The door burst open and Mahito came rushing in. <gasps> Whoa, dude. This white knight bullshit right here? No. Mr. Audrey quickly released me and stepped back. <gasps> but that makes him look like he's doing something wrong instead of being like, what are you coming in here for? M Mahito, he'd really come for me. Oh, God. This whole route. I can't roll my eyes anymore. Oh, I'm going to puke. This is really good for my diet because I'm like throwing up all the time. <laughs> no, that'd be bad. But I'm just saying like this, this route is just making me like, oh, the cringe. Oh, the cringe. Uh, I love it, but I hate it. Like, I don't like Mahito at all. Like, no, mm -mm, not down with him at all. Mm -mm. But I love the cringe. Like, I hate the cringe, but I love the cringe. Like, I just, you know what I mean? Like, oh my god, stop. But that's what I came here for. So while I'm like, ugh, and rolling my eyes, there's a little person, there's a little, there's a little me in the back of my mind, like, 
this is what we came for and it's so giving it to us. You know? Anyway. The hell do you think you're doing? Calling her here by herself and then... Because... Yeah, oh my god, I don't... I don't need to be protected. I might need to be... She needs to be protected, but like Jesus. He glanced at me. Forcing yourself on her like that. What were you planning to do? Who for... Okay. He had... Well, and he was getting a little too close for comfort, right? Well, no, I'll give you that. He wasn't forcing himself on me, unlike you, motherfucker, who pretty much, I'm not talking about the sex because we volunteered for that, but I'm just saying every other time you were pretty much forcing yourself on me. And I was like, no, stop. Okay, I won't do anything until you tell me it's okay. And then the next time, what are you doing? I won't do anything until you tell me it's okay. Bitch, don't even, Mahiro. Don't fucking even. What he did was l the least offensive thing that's happened to me in this path. Okay, the least offensive thing. I'm not saying it's okay. But comparative, this is more okay. Oturi is a little more okay than everything you've done, Mahiro. Jesus. Pot calling kettle black. Do you, are you, you're the pot or the kettle. With, you're both, Mahiro. Jesus. Mahiro confronted Mr. Oturi, an aura of anger seeping off him. And we're going to be like, thank God he's my hero. Uh, just, girl, jump off the balcony already. Save us all the trouble. That's terrible. I shouldn't say that. That's so wrong. I should not say that. It's a game. I would never say that to any other human being. That's terrible. I might imagine throwing them off, but I'm I'm imagining throwing her off the balcony. Be like, just delete file. <gasps> delete her and be like, okay, we're going to put a new character into the game. This isn't this fucking dumb. God, she's dumb. God. That's so bad. This whole path is making me so angry because it's so bad. This one is so bad. It's everything, everything wrong with any of these games. Like, all right in Mahito's path. All of it. Nothing. I was just asking her how her work was progressing. Right? Mr. Otri glanced at me, his gaze full of hidden meaning. There's no way I can let Mahito know what we've been talking about. If I did... He would realize that I was suspicious of him being a, sp a spy. Mr. Oturi never brought that up, though, but okay. All I could do was nod. Wh what? Really? Yeah, he asked me about work. I just got a little nervous, though. And I was literally... But what kind of a crazy fucking motherfucker is Mahito, though? Like, busting up in here and being like, How dare you talk to her in her office by herself? This could be a performance review, Mahito. Jesus fucking Christ. Simmer it fucking down. Don't need your white nightness. Jesus. I tried to go along with it, but it didn't seem like Mihiro was buying into it. How did it end up like that? He muttered to himself, surely bearing a grudge on the CEO. No need to call her in. I'll show you how good it is at the next meeting. You're that confident, huh? Well, I'll be looking forward to it then. Let's go. Excuse us. I'd be like, I don't think you... Mr. Otri, my man is dragging me away, and I'm just a dog on the leash. Jesus. Oh my god, everything about this. Mahiro led me to the meeting room, and now he's going to interrogate me, and I'm going to punch him. What happened? Did he do something to you? Nothing worse than you've ever done. No, nothing. We were just talking. Relax. Are you sure? Did something happen you can't tell me about? Are you hiding something? Are you? What could I tell him? That I thought he was working as a corporate spy? No way. What about you? Are you hiding anything? He looked at me, stunned. I have one thing I haven't told you. He strained to speak and admit it. But I can't tell you. Not yet. Oh god, are you married? I mean, Mr. Hyoga had a girlfriend. But like, are you married? Are you gay? <laughs> Wait, that's going to be the first time in history, I feel like, that anyone's going to be like, look, honey, I'm straight. <gasps> You, are you gay and you're going to have to tell your gay boyfriend that you're straight? Wait, I I just didn't think it worked that way. Theoretically, I suppose it could. But more people are, like, pretending to be straight and then admit that they're gay than would be like, I'm gay! Wait, no, I'm actually straight. You know what I mean? Chances are... That doesn't... You know? Hmm. There's got to be someone out there, though. You know what? I think I'm straight. <gasps> no! You know, because... There's an exception to every rule. Well, there's got to be someone. That's so intriguing, though. Anyway. I don't trust you. I'll tell you. 
everything if this project goes well. I promise. You just have to trust me. I could tell he was serious by the look on his face. The look of his face. There was nothing I could do except believe him. When he asked so earnestly, Oh, God. Okay, I'll wait for you to tell me. I nodded to him. So stupid. You're so stupid. But you must tell me everything. You must. If it turned out he was hiding some trivial secret, all the better. My only wish was that he wasn't acting as a spy. It was the only wish that could keep us together. For it all to go well, we absolutely can't let anyone know about our secret. All right. I'm heading back to the office. I was in the middle of an email when I came. Hurry back then. I'll catch up to you in a few. Okay. He hurriedly marched off. In his haste, something slipped out of his pocket and glided to the floor. To the floor. Mahito, wait! Hmm. I guess he didn't hear me. I could easily return it to him, though. Picking it up off the floor, my jaw dropped when I saw what it was. C ceo of our competitor? What's he doing with his business card? Maybe they're trying to hire him. Jumping at shadows. He could have gotten it. They could have been like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Maybe they're trying to hire him. You never know. That could have been... She already thinks he's a corporate spy, but he could have just been offered a job at another company. Maybe that's exactly what it is. Maybe he's been offered a job in another company and he's been considering taking it and doing interviews other places. And I mean, I'm just trying to think. Anyway, I shoved it in my pocket and headed back towards the office. What should I do? The business card might be really important to him. Um, but returning it seemed like a bad idea. Among our competitors, it was one of the bigger ones. Everyone here knew about them, but we had absolutely no deals with them at all. So why would he have their info? All on the CEOs. Hmm. I let out a huge sigh, at a complete loss as to what to do. What's with the sigh? How are you worn out? M Mahito! Jerk! Don't do that! I became irritated after being shaken up by the sudden voice behind me. Yeah, because he's an asshole, so be mad. What? You're not happy to see me. No. He put his lips together and made a pouting face on purpose. Sorry. Sorry. Because you know that would be the better answer. Sorry. It was my fault for overreacting, so I apologized. Okay, we're doing okay. Good. I was joking. Don't take it seriously. It was a joke, not a dick. Don't take it so hard. What? <laughs> This whole game. This whole fucking game. All right. You seem pretty uptight. Is it from work? I shook my head. No, it's nothing. I just have a slight headache. I have... She's starting the headache thing already. You've had sex once. Headache thing. Oh, I've got a headache. Want me to pick you up some medicine? He looked at me full of concern. I just took some. It'll go away soon, I'm sure. Lies upon lies. I was literally just about to be lies on Manelli, and I was like, lies upon lies. Which is my thought, my inner monologue, kind of, well, my outer monologue spilled out right into the line. Perfect. Anyway, it all seems so wrong. If it doesn't, tell me. Okay. I wondered if my story fooled him. I got something you need to look at. I bet you do. I don't want to see it. Put it away. He handed over some papers to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> A note was clipped to the edge of them. It read, meeting room at eight. I curiously looked back at Mihiro, and he was wearing a big smile. If he wanted to have a meeting, he could have messaged me through mail. Why this? Because he's going to fuck you in that conference room. Was it about something he couldn't mention through mail? When eight o'clock came around, I headed to the meeting room. Eight o'clock! At night! What the actual fuck you should have left hours ago? That's four, after, four hours after my quitting time. Mihiro? I nervously opened the door and peeked inside. And then... Good! You came! Why the memo? Couldn't you tell me by mail? His face shriveled in disappointment. Hey, it wouldn't be exciting at all if I did that. No? No! It seems silly to me. So, what did I come here for? Shh. I'm reading this with the lack of giving a fuck that I feel for him right now. He already told me he wasn't going to tell me a secret until the project was over. 
I was thinking maybe tomorrow we could go somewhere on our day off. You had to make me stay four hours past my quitting time for this? What? That's all you wanted to say? What do you mean? Is it wrong to invite you out on a date? I know saying sorry I can't is so... A date? At a time like this? With things getting busy with the project, it wasn't exactly a good time to screw around. Also, I'm sorry I can't is just like, you know that's not the right answer. Because it's times like... Because it's a time like this, it's not good to work in nothing else. Hey, if I don't stop you, you'll end up working even on a Saturday. True. If you don't relax once in a while, you're going to wear yourself out. He was trying to help me in his own way. But unfortunately... Sorry, I have plans. I do. I had to lie to him. Oh, well, at least I asked. Even any time you're feeling lonely, give me a call and I'll come, I bet. Okay. If that's all you need from me, I'm gonna go now. I couldn't look him straight in the eye. I turned my back towards him so I wouldn't have to. Hey, wait a second. He reached out and tugged my arm to stop me. Since he stopped me, he must want to tell me something else. What? At least let me walk you home. And noth- I can get home on my own. And nothing more, right? <laughs> I feel like these are both bad, but, um... I can get home on my own. Is like, just brushing him off like, nah. And then the and nothing more is like, I mean, you can walk me home, but you're not coming inside. And nothing more, right? Well, I'd like to stay with you all night if you don't mind, but... He'd pulled me in by the arm and whispered into my ear. I'm tired. I just want to go to bed. Alone. What had got into me? Why was I acting like this? I wasn't acting cute at all. Because everything... Oh my god, I'm not being cute. I'm being a real fucking person. Oh. Well, you just let me at least walk you home. Nope. Why not? I'm stopping somewhere on my way home. Where? I wasn't really planning on stopping anywhere. The lie just came out of my mouth on its own. None of your business! I'm not telling. Which means you're not going shopping somewhere. So I don't see why I can't come. He fixed his eyes on me with a stern look on his face. Because, Mihiro, I just need to fucking be alone. Can I just be the fucking fuck alone? I, I guess that's true. This is rough. It really hurts when your girl keeps secrets from you. He looked towards the ground with an incredibly sad face. Fucking really? Fucking really? You're gonna pull this shit? Oh my god, you get more and more fucking aggravating the further we get into this path. I cannot wait for this to end because I hate you. <laughs> he is such... Oh, I hate him. It sucks when your girl won't tell you shit. Are you fucking for real right now? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I know she's saying... Don't you have something you can't tell me either? I'm gonna be like, are you fucking for real for right now? Are you fucking for real for now? For now, yeah. Are you fucking for real right now? That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just so aggravated with him. His face clouded over. I should have seen that coming. Yeah, don't be a dumbass. As soon as you tell me yours, I'll tell you what I've been keeping from you. All right. Bye. Bye. He stood in place, dazed. Unable to even stop me as I walked away. I'm so sorry, my hero. No, you're not. No, you're not. It's fine. I had to stop somewhere he couldn't know about. The address on the business card led me there. So this is it. Mahito must have been here before. I imagine him sneaking up here while staring at the building written on the business card. Just then I noticed an attractive woman walk out of the building. I knew her face. She was the one that Mahito had met earlier. Hurry up! W wait I'm not waiting for you any longer. An elderly man struggled to catch up to her, and they began to walk together. There was no mistake. I was absolutely certain it was the woman Mahito had met earlier. Maybe he was giving her his resume. I remembered him handing her some sort of documents. Oh, I remember when we saw this and we were like, look at Stan Lee, and oh now Stan Lee's dead. Oh. Oh, He'll always be stuck in the background of Office Lovers. <laughs> I don't know why that's what it reminded me of the first time we saw it. And now I just saw it. Oh. Sad. Anyway. 
I remembered him handing her some sort of documents. Could have been a resume, like I said. Who would have guessed she was an employee from a rival company? This just keeps on getting worse. Okay, wait. Who would have guessed she was a rival from another company? A rival from another... Who would have guessed she was someone working at a rival company? Huh. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. Raise your hand if you thought she might have been working for a rival company if we thought Mahito was a corporate spy. Ooh, every single person is raising their hand. Mahito's a corporate spy. Who is that woman he's giving documents to? Do documents to Probably someone who works for a rival company. Who to thunk it? Everyone but you, dumb fuck. Everyone but you. God. Anyway, this just keeps on getting worse. Until you actually see him physically having sex with her in an alley. Then it's worse. I'd actually be better. I'd be like, oh, thank God, now we don't have to date anymore. At first, handing over documents to someone seems suspicious. But that someone was actually a competitor? Again, who's he being a corporate spy for? If not for a rival company? Huh? The fuck? What kind of logic skills do you not lack? How did you get your job? And he had the... Com Again, this is why I think they live in an institution. There is no physical way that she can be this stupid and manage to have gotten a job in the real world. And he had the comp uh, the competing CEO's business card in his pocket? He was no longer at the point where I just felt suspicious. I'll tell you everything if this project goes well. I promise. You just have to trust me. I feel like... I, I still think that maybe he was applying for another job or maybe they scouted him. You know what I mean? Like, it could very well be something like that as opposed to he's a corporate spy. Because I just don't see this ending well if he's a corporate spy. Because then she'd be a real dumb fuck to be like, oh, I forgive you and still have sex with him. But it's going to turn out that it's something simple like, oh, no, I just gave them my resume and I was applying for another job, but I wanted this project to go well. Before I, you know, because it would have looked better on my resume. You know, I said I couldn't leave until this project went well. You know, and I was going to get a better job there in their development team. That's why I wanted this project to go well so I could look. Hey, I helped to develop a successful product that would help me get a job there. It's probably something as innocuous as that. And we're going to be like, I'm so sorry for doubting you. Oh, stop being stupid. Oh, because we're the one that always has to look stupid, despite the fact that he's being a shady motherfucker and was creepy rapey. We're the dumbass. Well, yeah, I mean, she's always been a dumbass, but, like, we're going to be the one that has to apologize for every little thing that we do because uh, the men are always right. Ah. Uh. I wanted to trust him. He wasn't making it easy for me. Ugh. In the end, the only thing I did that Saturday was lay in bed and sleep. I headed to work the next day, not sure how I would act in front of him. The next day is Sunday. You're going to work on su This makes me depressed. This game makes me depressed, not because of all the rapey weirdness and the creepy douchebags. It's because of how much she works. It makes me sad. My soul is dead from how much she works. Good morning. Morning. He came running over to me as soon as I walked in. Ugh. Hey. I couldn't look at him. My eyes turned to the floor. What's wrong? You're not feeling like yourself today. I'm just tired. I didn't get any sleep last night. Oh? What do you say to about getting together later tonight and... The meeting is at ten. Oh, we need to get ready for it. I rudely cut him off and started walking to the meeting room. It was still early, so there was no one in the room yet. However, there still wasn't that much time left to prepare for it. And this was our last chance. If the meeting went bad, we would get kicked off the project for sure. We had to knock it out of the park today. Soon after... Shall we begin? Whether or not we were ready, the meeting had started. No! Please take a look at the papers in front of you! Shut up, Ken. Ken started the meeting off with his presentation... You know what? I might actually like Ken a little bit more than Mahito. I'm not sure right now. I think they're both like... I don't know, Ken. Because you're a creepy motherfucker. Like, what the fuck? What is with his giraffe neck? Like, seriously, his neck is so long. Um, But you, you might... I might like you better. I might. 
Anyway, Ken started off the meeting started the meeting off with his presentation. Since he was invited to the project by the CEO, as one might expect, he had a real talent. Not just talent, but a real knack for this kind of work. If it was something he worked on, nine out of ten people would probably turn their eyes to it. Really weird since he's a makeup artist and not like a designer. Strange, but... Hmm, excellent. I have no concerns. You did a real fine job as usual. Thank you. And then should I continue on with the current plan? Yes, I think everyone would agree that would be fine. The others nodded their agreement. The meeting went on to the next topic. Please, go ahead. All right. I stood up from my chair holding a stack of papers I made in preparation. And based on our market research, we chose the following three types of perfume. And these are samples, so feel free to inspect and test them out. I was proud of the samples, but wasn't sure what the others would think. I started to get nervous. Look at Mojito. I looked at Mojito. Mojito glanced at me. Don't worry. Have faith in your work. He whispered some positive words to me to cheer me up. Really? You have no faith in yours? Whatever. I can feel the nervousness melting away. Okay, all right. I know. I know. I shouldn't be mad at him for that. Have some faith in your work. That's actually good advice. I'm fine with this. Mr. Saijo was the first to speak up. Fine. Just fine. Me too. Should be okay if we go with this selection. The scent is nice. It's relaxing. What do you think, Mr. Hyoga? There's still some room for improvement, but I think this is a good start. Every other time we have made magic with this, we work with Mahito and we kind of fucking suck and we're stumbling along. I'm just saying. Mahito's dragging us down. All right. Mahito, are you ready to give your presentation? Yeah. Mahito, oh, yes. Mahito stood up slowly and showed everyone his design document. Since the scent was approved, all we needed was for the design to get passed by them. I prayed for his design to somehow get their approval. I want to bring your attention to this right here. It's quite alright by itself, but it becomes special when paired together with the other. Mahito explained the concept to us in a loud, clear voice. That sounds fun. Couples might enjoy using these together. Didn't I say in the beginning you had two little bottles that when you put them together, like, nestle together and it's, like, really cute and they're, like, pieces that fit together? What did I say? You weren't listening to me, Mahito. I figured this shit out. God, you're stupid. Listen to me! <laughs> Different bright, vibrant color depending on what the scent is. Like, this one's like a fresh linen scent. It's like a bright, vibrant aqua blue. This one's like a florally scent, like a nice pink color. This one's citrusy, like a vi like an orange or a yellow or something. Come on! Oh my god, it'd be so fun to get the rainbow and put them all together and then you can mix and match all your sun. You know what? Everyone would want to buy all of them. If they're like mix and match, you know what I mean? Like that idea is kind of brilliant. Like it's mix and match. You can mix these two suns. And we have like 10 of them. I want to buy all 10. So like one day you're like fresh lemony linens. <laughs> Next day is like lemon rose. You know what I mean? Like that'd be so much fun. Spacey goes and mixes random perfumes that she has and just smells like a fucking whorehouse. Which is <laughs> you know what I mean? That's awesome! That'd be amazing! Especially if you sold, like, the whole set, like, a mini set. Like, not the big bottles, but, like, smaller ones. Or, like, the whole rainbow set. And then you can, like, mix them. That'd be so fucking amazing! Like, oh my god, I want this in my... Oh. But only if the little bottles, like, kind of, like, line up. They, like, they got, like, a little curve to them or something. So they snap together. Not really like, snap, but you know what I mean? You can just snick them together and you're be fucking amazing. Ooh, it would actually be really cool if you could, like, put them together in, like, a little spinny rack. So, like, ooh, look, they're in a nice little rainbowy circle. Fuck as fuck. Just getting way too excited about stupid shit like this that doesn't even exist. And I wish it did. I could do so much better than fucking Mahiro working for this company. I mean, Jesus! God, Mahiro, I could do your job better than you. Anyway. It sounded like Mr. Saijo and Ken approved it, um, but the others were silent. Mr. Oteri continued his silence. I wonder what he's thinking. Uh, that's all I have for today. Mahiro ended his explanation and went back to his seat. Is that everything? Yes, that was the latest progress I have for you right now. I see. Well, I'll leave the rest to you, Mr. Hyoga. Mr. Oteri suddenly left the room. I think he's mad because he knows that 
Mahito is looking for other, I think that's what he is. I think he's looking for other jobs and he knows. Huh? What about me? We both stared at each other in surprise and confusion. Mahito. He placed his hand on Mahito's shoulder. He didn't say anything. That means he has no problem with it. Huh? You mean... It passed. You can continue working on it. Mahito's face lit up like a light. But every other time we've done anything, Mr. Otri's been like, Oh, Spacey! You're like a goddamn magical unicorn! Because he wants to fuck us. But, um, he doesn't say anything to Mahito because I think he's pissed. Because I think he knows that Mahito's looking at other jobs. I'm just guessing that's what's happening. Also, he could be really mad that Mahito's fucking us and he's not. Because I'm sure he saw it on the tapes. But he wasn't really that mad when other people were fucking us. Kaido, he was like, he got to you first. Good for him. But he hates Mahito for some reason. I, I understand. Mr. Oturi, you and I are on the same page. Can we start a I Hate Mahito Club? Because... <sighs> I liked Mahito better before we went down his path. Because he was a little overeager. And you're like, wow, simmer down, creepy. But this, now he's just... Mm, no. No redeeming qualities. Thank you so much! You're welcome. He thanked everyone in the room and then bowed to the door to thank Mr. Oturi who had left. You have no redeeming qualities, Mihiro. I hate you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> that was fun. Isn't this great? I spoke to Mihiro when we got back to the office. This was wonderful news. My suspicions he was a spy were still there. But that was another problem entirely. I totally forgot them. It was such a relief to hear the news after seeing him work so hard on the design. It's all thanks to you. And maybe that's why he couldn't come up with a good design. Because he was stressed out. Trying too hard. Wanting to make this a success so he could get a better job. You know what I'm saying? He chose his words carefully because we were still at work. I'm so thankful to partner with you. There you are, Mahiro. There's an emergency. Can you come with me? The CEO came hustling in, interrupting our conversation. What did the CEO want? He looks suspicious. What kind of emergency was it? I'm busy talking to... Just come. He began to push Mihiro by the back, forcing him down the hallway. I'll talk to you later, then. Okay. The both of them disappeared from view. I wonder what it is he wanted to tell me so bad. Um... Like Mihiro being like, I'm talking to... Your fucking CEO comes like, can I talk to you? No. You wait. You shut the fuck up and you go with him. Be disrespectful. Fucking Mahiro, disrespectful. I hope he remembered to tell me later. He was totally disrespectful by busting in thinking I needed to be rescued from the CEO. It was just, how dare you talk to her alone? I may be a woman, but that doesn't mean I'm not capable of talking to my boss by myself. Jesus. Shrugging to myself, I tried to concentrate on getting some work done. Hey, can I bother you a minute? Mr. Saijo had come looking for me. Sure, what can I do for you? I'd like for you to run these papers down to sales for me. I got somewhere to be and I don't have time to deliver these myself. I can do that, no problem. Thanks, it really helps me out. Not long after, I went to the sales department and handed over the papers as requested. It's Mr. Oturi's office, but yellow. On my way back, I passed by Mr. Oturi's office. Oh, it is. You can't decide these things on your own! I heard Mahiro shouting and stopped in my tracks. Okay, so it was Mr. Oturi's office. I just noticed it was like yellow, and I was like, it's supposed to be different? No, it must be the setting sun. Oh. But Spacey is nothing special to you, right? Y yeah, she's just someone I work with. And then isn't it fine? The other girl seems to have taken an interest in you. What was this about another girl? You even said yourself that she was beautiful. He is trying to fuck with Mahiro. Oh my god, wow, Mr. Oturi. I pictured a beautiful girl and the woman from the rival company came to mind. But I... He was at a loss for words. Okay, what? Oh, wait. You'll be seeing her for the arranged marriage meeting next week. It's already been decided. Since when does Mr. Otri get to arrange marriages for his employees? What? Arranged marriage? It can't be... 
My legs started moving on their own. I started running as fast as they could carry me. I heard right for sure. Arranged marriage. First of all, what decade is this? Second of all, why does Mr. Otori get to arrange Mahito's marriage? What is the fucking deal? Besides, why did he say that? Why did he say that all I am to him was a co-worker? Are you stupid? Because there's a no dating rule, you dumb fuck. He was trying to protect you both. He should have been like, no. All right? I'm going to tell you the truth. I love her. That's it. I know we're not allowed to date, but it doesn't change the way I feel. That's what you should have said, Mahito. I was still at work, but questions were on my mind all day. Couldn't get anything done at all. I'm back. After a while, Mahito returned to the office. To refer him to call anyone a person? Was there a problem? Uh, no, everything is fine. I see. Well, it's good. If anything happens, let me know at once. Why is... Is Mr. Otari like Mahito's dad or something? <sighs> Will do. Mahito exchanged some words with Mr. Hyoga before coming to my desk. Hey. Should we ask? Even though we know? Or should we just pretend like we don't know? Like... Welcome back, because we can't ask, because if we said, what did you talk about? Arranged marriage? Ah, you know. Welcome back. I tried to act as if nothing had happened. Hey, uh... He chose his words carefully. You know that thing I was going to tell you earlier. Yeah? He explained it to me, but I was so distracted that I heard none of it. Do you have a minute? I have things to do right now. No, 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 Spacey, go with him, because he's going to tell you that, like, Mr. Otari is, like, his dad or something. <laughs> or, like, his fucking guardian or some kind of fucked up shit. <laughs> That's the only way you could possibly arrange a marriage for someone. Like, you know, it was like, he's my legal guardian. He's my uncle or something. I don't know. It doesn't seem like he's old enough to be his dad. Older brother? I don't know. And then, you know the plaza with the Christmas tree? Uh, can you meet me there after work? Yes, just go, Spacey. I have something I need to talk to you about. After I'm done with all this... I had work to finish up, whether I was going or not. Go. You have to go. This needs to get done today. I tried to forget about Mahiro for a while so I could actually get work done. By the time I finished and I looked at the time, it was way past work hours. He said he would wait for me at the plaza. I guess I should go then. When I got near the Christmas plaza, I could see Mahiro from afar. He kept looking at the time, and his head turned back and forth, looking for me. Ma I was just about to call out his name and run to him. Y yeah, uh, she's just someone I work with. You'll be seeing her for the arranged marriage meeting next week. It's already been decided. Suddenly, the conversation he had with Mr. Otri came to mind, and I decided to leave instead. There's no way I'd be able to talk to him face to face right now. <gasps> Spacey, no. Okay. I admit that I'm not a Mahito fan, but that's just kind of cold, and he was going to tell you everything, and I feel like it would have been better. As much as you didn't want to listen to it, it's like, you know it's going to be bad. Rip the band-aid off. You're just... I'm just... No, I'm just going to leave it there, and it's just going to get stuck on something, and it's going to pull a little... Ow! And then it's going to get... Uh, no, just rip it off, bitch. I came back. I kept Mahito waiting at the plaza and instead went back to work. It's awful late to be coming back to work. Why don't you were headed home? Uh, um, there was something I wanted to look up. That's fine. If you leave late, make sure to let the security guard know. I will. Good night. Mr. Hyoga left for the night, and I was the last one there. So there's a security guard that's probably watching us have sex every single time we're there till four in the morning? That's weird. I wondered if Mahito was still waiting for me. I should send him a mail at least. I shot him a mail saying I wouldn't be able to come. You mean like a text instead of an email? That's weird. My phone instantly rang. It was from Mahiro. I couldn't talk to him, so I let it continue ringing. The only sound in the office. It echoed through the room. Mute. Sorry, Mahiro. I whispered to myself as the final ring sounded out and ended. He must have given up. I needed to calm myself down. 
first calm myself down and then think this through. Maybe a friend of Mr. Otri's is trying to hook a woman up with someone. Uh, Mr. Otri might have just picked out Mahiro on a whim. It's possible that if he knew about her relationship, that he would cancel the meeting. But Mihiro told him we weren't in any relationship and I was nothing to him. Was he only saying that to protect me? Uh, protect us because relationships were off limits? That's the conclusion you should have jumped to to begin with. I wish that was the case. It probably is the case. Oh my god, why are you so stupid? Look, I don't like Mihiro at all, but why are you so stupid? Why did Mihiro ever tell me he liked me when he knew it was forbidden? Maybe he'd figured out that... That I thought he was a spy. Then... So that I would never tell anyone a secret? He dated me? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, you were the dumbest fucking person. Even if he was a corporate spy or not, I still think he's trying to work for a competitor. I just think that's what's going on. But even if he's a corporate spy, I'm pretty sure he's just been in love with you since the second he saw you. That's been obvious from the beginning of the fucking game. It has nothing to do with him being a corporate spy or not. Even if he is. And I'm pretty sure he just told Mr. Otteri because he wanted to protect you and him... Because I seriously think he's trying to get a job at a competitor, and if this project doesn't go well, he would lose out on that job. But if this goes well, he could get into their... Look, I work success successful project. Woo! Yeah, you know what I mean? And that's why he was trying so hard and failing miserably, even though in every other path, he's always come up with some kind of magical product. And she is the dumbest fucking person for me. Like, he only... Oh my god, seriously? Stop and think rationally for a half a motherfucking second. I don't know why I'm expecting her. She has not been rational this whole point because you should not be in love with someone who's pretty fucking rapey to begin with. Okay, but here we are. Here we are. So let's have some fucking faith in the guy that you're so in love with and be like, um, he told Mr. Otre I was nothing to him because he was trying to protect us and was afraid that we would get in trouble. And I've been the one since the very beginning. Oh my God, we're not allowed to date. We're not allowed to date. Oh my God, we can't date. Ugh. Making a huge fucking deal out of the rule. If we were like, no, nah, it's fine. I'm sure it's okay. Every fucking path, they're all like, it's fine. And she's like, no, we can't. Oh my God. Oh. So you don't think for a fucking second he's actually being a decent human. I hate Mahiro, okay? But I feel like he's being a decent human being and being like, no, no, she means nothing to me. <laughs> we're not dating. What? Because he doesn't want you to be mad at him for being like, I'm in love with her. Why would you say that? It's embarrassing. Like you do because you overreact like a whiny little bitch about everything. So he's doing something nice to protect you instead of being like, um, so I was listening in and this is what I heard. Like, I'm assuming you were like, why in the world would you say that? I was just trying to protect you. I didn't want him to know that we were together. And I figured if I told him I was in love with you, you would have gotten mad at me about that. You're right. And I totally appreciate you for taking one for the team like that you know what i mean like oh my god oh my god stop being a dumb fuck god she's a dumb fuck i can't she's the worst part about this whole fucking route i mean mojito's right up there like right underneath her but she's she's just inching him out for the dumbest fucking thing i can't oh my god i can't anyway he seduced me into falling in love with him she's so fucking stupid it sounded so impossible but the possibility of it made me worry more and more I just really wish that at the end of this, he'd be like, I can't believe you thought I was a spy and only fucked you as a con. Wow. Fuck you and leaves her. I really do. I almost look, Mahito, you're almost, I hate you almost as much as I hate Ken. I think I might actually dislike you more than I disliked Ken. I, I think you might be inching him out, but I feel so bad for you having to date this dumb fuck of a woman. Please, please find someone better. Please. Mihiro, I hate you, but you deserve so much better than this woman. So much better. Like, oh my God. Oh God, that's so frustrating. I just can't believe that the complaints on this game is like, the men are all assholes. I want to be like, yes, the men are all assholes. They're all terrible, rapey assholes. But she is the dumbest fucking thing about this game. Just the, just the, whoa, she's the most aggravating. The most aggravating, or the fact that how does this company even run? I don't even know. And why is the CEO marrying off one of his employees? I want to know the story behind that. I'm sure there is, but like, anyway, anyway. It sounded so impossible, but the possibility of it made me more worry more and more because I'm the dumbest fuck ever. 
wonder if he was lying when he said he loved me. I wonder if he was lying when he looked into my eyes and asked me to trust him. Maybe everything he said was a lie. Maybe you're just fucking stupid. The more I wanted to trust him, the more scared I became of the truth. I couldn't tell what was real and what wasn't. Tears started to form in my eyes. <sighs> Spacey! It was then when Mahiro suddenly appeared in front of me. Yeah, and he's going to make... It's okay, everything's okay. And Oh, I forgive you. Oh, he should just be like, Wow, I'm out. Because you are crazier than fucking he is, and that's amazing. Don't yell my name so loud at work! I hid my face and wiped up my tears. What happened? Why are you crying? It's nothing. It doesn't look like nothing. It is. Just forget it. I can't just forget it. He grasped my shoulders and shouted at me. Yeah, you've been kind of being a bitch to him for days, and I don't blame you because he's an asshole. But he's trying to tell you the truth. How can I just ignore it when my girl is crying right in front of my eyes? Really? Am I really yours? Of course you are. He hugged me tight. Why would you ask that? What happened? It's all too strange. Why would you ever date me knowing it was forbidden? There must be a reason. And you had no choice but to date me. I never intended to say it, but the words came out of my mouth anyway. Oh, wow. I don't know what you're talking about. I wanted to date you because I love you. I know he told us we couldn't see each other, but I couldn't hold myself back. It won't matter once the project is over. But I couldn't hold back my feelings until then. That's all it is. And I 100% believe that. Because he's basically been acting like he loves us since like four seconds into the game. And we found out when we were like, uh, does he really interested in us? That the woman's like, oh, he's liked someone ever since he started working here. Duh, that was you, stupid. It doesn't hurt that in the three other paths we've done, he's been like practically ready to jump us. I mean, that's been kind of obvious to us. But like, God, she's fucking... If I haven't mentioned she's fucking stupid, she's fucking stupid. I love you. I really do. His voice was strained like all his emotions were being poured into it. It didn't sound like a lie to me. In my heart, I knew I loved him too. That's why I couldn't hold it in any longer. I had to tell him everything I knew. About him being a spy, about the arranged marriage interview, and my own feelings. Oh, that's gonna blow up in our face. No. I'd figure out how to deal with the aftermath when it came. He's gonna laugh in your face for being a dumbass. But for right now, I had to tell him everything. This is just getting good. And like... This, I'm going to end it here. When love comes to fruition. I'm going to end it here. We're going to open this thing. Um, I know it's a little bit under what we normally do, but instead of getting into this whole conversation, which is going to take forever probably. Um, but I got to be honest, this is now where it's getting good. Because this is so appalling and she is the dumbest fucking human in a <laughs> Oh God, you're stupid. I, I, I mean, I don't really exactly know about the arranged marriage thing. I'm curious about that. And I don't know why he was dealing with the CEO, but I'm going to guess it's probably not because he's a spy. It's, again, probably just job hunting, whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. And the arranged marriage thing is probably just Mr. Otrudy being a dickhole. But I'm still curious as to why he's setting up an arranged marriage interview. Or maybe it's for some other reason and it has nothing to do with actually being an arranged marriage and it'll be like, oh, well, no, it's this, blah, blah, blah. Or, oh, no, I'm talking to an interviewer about how I feel about arranged marriages. Which would make no sense why Mr. Otrio would be asking about, like, you're single, right? You're not interested in anyone, right? I mean, you're not dating Spacey, right? What? No, no. Because <laughs> now I'm going to do an interview about how arranged marriages are dumb. It could be something stupid like this. That would make me disappointed. I really want Mr. Oterney to be trying to arrange a marriage for him because that just makes me really more curious and seems like way more fucked up and like will make this game so much more fun. Because <laughs> like, you know it's not going to happen, but you're still like, wait, what the fuck, Mr. Oterney? Why would you do this? Where did this come from and why and how? And I feel like that's a twist that I'm waiting to see, but I don't know. Um, but like, dear God, this is getting so much better because she is so fucking stupid and blowing everything out of proportion. And she's going to be like, ah! and he's going to be like, God, you're dumb. But again, he's going to be like, oh, Spacey. 
oh, no, I love you, and it's totally okay that you didn't trust me, and you're crazy, and you spy on me, and you think I'm a corporate spy, and you have no faith in me, and, like, it's okay, I forgive you. I don't know if you should. I mean, Mahito, I don't think you deserve better than this Spacey, but maybe? I don't... It's kind of a toss-up, because I'm thinking that, like, you deserve better! Well, I mean... Uh, it's iffy. <laughs> like... I don't like you, so maybe you should be stuck with her. Maybe you should be. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.